give God thanks. Praise is always. He's the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end.
Lord, you are so good. Let's set me on it. Lord, you are so good. Let's set me on it. In heaven, you are the Lord. On earth, you reign forever. Oh, Lord, how great thou art. Hallelujah. Let's set Oh Lord, Lord, you are so good. Oh, bless and be your name. Lord, you are so good. Bless and be your name. In heaven you are the Lord. On earth you reign forever. Oh Lord, how great thou art. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. People of God, I need you to understand that when, we, when your God says yes, who can say no? Nobody. So I need you to stand up. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus says yes. Nobody can say no. When Jesus opens your way, nobody can close it. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. When Jesus lifts you up, nobody can down you. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Everybody, 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 everybody. Everybody, everybody, when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. 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 Everybody, everybody, everybody. Everybody, 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 everybody. There is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. What is it that has brought you here today? What is it that has brought you into the presence of God? I know I'm here for my God. What are you here for? There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. Oh, my Come into your presence, my helper. There is something that makes me to come into your presence, my helper. My helper, my helper, my helper, my helper, my helper, my helper. Come into your presence, my helper. So, children of God, yes. wonderful people, yes. marvelous people, yes. will you shout hallelujah? Yes. Will you shout hallelujah? Yes. Shout hallelujah to the Lord three times. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Children of God, yes. wonderful people, yes. glorious people, oh, yes. beautiful people, oh, yes. marvelous people. Oh, yes. Will you shout hallelujah? Yes. Will you shout hallelujah? Oh, yes. Shout hallelujah to the Lord seven times. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. 
man of God, yes. wonderful people, yes. beautiful people, yes. marvelous people, yes. when you shout hallelujah, yes. shout hallelujah to the Lord forevermore. Hallelujah, 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 What shall we do today? Today, what shall we do today? Today, what shall we do today? Yes, I know you are always there for me, Almighty God. When success comes my way, I will praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, let us be in the mood of worship. Let us bless his holy name. Let us glorify his name. Let us, let us give him all the honor and adoration. Casting crown, lifting head, bowing on, it's all we've come to do. Oh, Christ and ground, lifting the bowing down, it's all we've come to do. Casting ground, casting ground, casting ground, lifting the lifting the Oh, 
That they will worship you. King of glory, we adore you. In this month of divine abundance and power demonstration. Father, this we has this morning, Holo, that you will open the doors of heavens, that you pour your spirit upon us, Solo, that we may receive the power to get abundance in every area of our lives. That the Lord will trust you. That you are not a man that will lie. Or the son of man that will change his mind. You have spoken it. You have declared it. That the month of October 2019 unto us, is our month of divine abundance that they will receive in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, we know you are here before we got here. That they manifest your presence. That the everyone under the voice of your servant this morning, that they meet us at the point of our needs. King of glory, we have issues going on. We have situations. Many have problems, so oh Lord. That they bring your solution in the name of Jesus. King of glory, at the end of the service of today, Almighty Father, let there be power demonstration in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Glory and honor to your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy new month to every one of us. This is our month of divine abundance and power demonstration. Praise the name of the Lord. And I want to congratulate people that are here for the night of triumph. What God deposited in your life will come to manifestations. Every high we see it, they will testify that you actually met the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Power. Everyone talk of power. When you hear the word of power, what comes into your mind? We know the meaning of power. Power is what? Ability or capability to direct or influence a behavior or an event. Praise the name of the Lord. Power is what? Ability. Or capability to direct or what influence an event praise the name of the Lord and we all know that power produce effect right power produce effect power cause or prevent an event too Right? When you have power, you can cause an effect to occur. And when you have power, you can prevent the event that is going on. And you say, oh, end to this. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, we have different kinds of power. Some have legitimate, uh, legitimate power. Some have illegitimate, <laughs> illegitimate uh, power too. They just get themselves there. 
They don't have reward power. And in the world today, we have different kinds of spiritual power. So you can just say only one spiritual power. Different kinds of spiritual power. Praise the name of the Lord. But the power that we want to talk about this morning, the power that God will demonstrate in your life, in my life, is the Spirit of God. Praise the name of the Lord. It's what? The Spirit of God. That is the power that we manifest in your life, that will manifest in your situation in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no one that will say they don't know what power means. We have electrical power, right? We have potential power. Praise the name of the Lord. If you fail to plug in your socket, will you get a light? Does it mean that there is no power there? Huh? There is power. But you need to do what? To connect in order to get what you want to get. Praise the name of the Lord. And one thing that I'm really sure of, that wherever you have power, there will always be manifestation. There is no one that will have power that you will, that, that you will keep it to yourself. That say, oh, I have this power. I don't want people to know. It's a lie. When you have power, you want everyone to know. Right? Yeah. We have our president. He has power. And he's letting everyone know I carry power. The authority is in me. Praise the name of the Lord. He's just like a little boy of 17 that goes to Harbour List and says, I need power so that when I see snake, I will just hold it like this and nothing will happen. By the time he gets the power, what will he be looking for? Huh? He will look for snakes. He will be looking for snakes anywhere just to do what? To demonstrate the power that is in him. The same thing is somebody that goes to the herbalist or whoever he goes to to get the power that when they shoot a gun at him or her, it won't have effect. Immediately he got the power. What did we be looking for? Huh? He be causing trouble everywhere. <laughs> because he knows he had something, right? There is something that he wants to prove to everyone that he has. So there is no way you will have power that you will hide it. The power will push you. You won't know the force will move you to do some things. That is why I have problem with believers today that says that they have power of God, but there is no manifestation. This let me know that they don't have power. They don't. They claim to have power. If you have power, You'll be looking for every avenue to let people know I carry the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, there are a lot of problems, situations in the world. Looking for solution. How can you be a solution and say, no, I don't want people to know? It's because you are not a solution. If you are the solution... You'll be looking for what? Problem to solve. I remember I listened to the man of God preaching. He said the first time he was in the Bible study. And the pastor now taught them that in the name of Jesus Christ, you can heal the dead. You can heal the sick. And you can actually raise the dead. He said he understood the word healing very well. But when the pastor now taught them that you can actually raise the dead, say, really? 
Are you sure that the way I am now, I can raise the dead? Said, yeah, yeah, you can raise the dead. What happened? He said he took his Bible and he was going from one house to the other. Is anybody die here? Is anybody died here? Is anyone die here? They were looking for Latim as something wrong with him. Praise the name of the Lord. Until he actually got to where he got the dead body. He said, just one just passed. Small boy just passed. He said, hey, that's what I was looking for. Behold, the boy came back to life. <laughs> Children of God, if you have power, you can be hidden. If you know that you have authority, you will look for situation to solve. Praise the name of the Lord. You all know what happened to Elisha when his master was taken from him. And when his master was going, he said, request whatever you want now. And Elisha said, Master, give me the double portion of your spirit. <laughs> this one is too hard. But if you're able to see me when I've been taken away from you, it shall be so. And what happened to the man that is so focused and obedient? He got the double. Praise the name of the Lord. And all those people that were making jests of him, your master will be taken away from you today. Your master will be taken away from you today. By the time he was coming back, the Bible says they do what? They bow down unto Elisha. They worship God in the life of Elisha because he carries the power. Praise the name of the Lord. Elisha was just ordinary before they crossed the Jordan. But when he was coming back and they saw that what his master did, he did the same thing when he was coming back. What happened? They came to him with situation. They said, the land is good, but the water is bitter. Give us solution. Praise the name of the Lord. And what happened? He gave them solution. Children of God, do you actually have the power of God? Check yourself to, do I have the power of God? Because if you don't have it, what do you want to see? Without the power, there can be manifestation. Praise the name of the Lord. And you know, immediately Elijah got the power. The power was moving him everywhere. If you read the book of 2 Kings from chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3, you see from one situation to the other. Why? Because it's the solution. So every situation is looking for Elisha. Praise the name of the Lord. Children of God, are you a solution indeed? Do you have power? Do you have that authority? In 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1. 2 Kings chapter 7 verse 1. Elijah boldly decreed. He declared it unto them. He says, this is what the Lord says. About this time tomorrow. This is a man that knows that he carries power. And he knows whatever he declares, we do what? We manifest. And we know what happened in chapter 16. Exactly what he has said was what happened 24 hours after the pronouncement of the man of God. Eliza has no two heads. He has no four legs. Right? Eliza is a man like you and I. But he allowed the power of God in his life. And he was able to show that truly 
I carry the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Again, in 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 8, when king of Syria sent letter to the king of Israel and said to him, Heal my servant Nema, he has leprosy. The king did what? The king tore his clothes. He said, Who am I? Am I God that you are not sending letter to me to heal your own people from this leprosy? But what happened to the man that carries the power? Let's read it. 2 Kings chapter 5, verse 8. I like that. It says, And it was so. When Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, Where has thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me. Praise the name of the Lord. King, why are you renting your clothes? Tell the man to do what? To come to me. How many of you can say that today? That is issue going on. And say, oh, what is the issue? Come on, let him come. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, let him come. Even many people, when issue happen, why they are there, they will look for a venue to run away. Hey, though I carry the anointing, though they lay hands on me, Though people call me bishop, pope, and all those things. But this boy just died. What happened? They will carry their bag. They gone. But the one that knows that he carries the power of God says, let him come to me. Praise the name of the Lord. And what happened in verse 15? After Naaman got his healing, he stood before Elisha and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the world except where? Except in Israel. 2 Kings 5.15 Now I know there is no God in all the earth, but where? In Israel. What would they say about your own Israel? What would people say about your own Israel? There is God in your history? Where is the demonstration of the power of God? Praise the name of the Lord. There is power in you, children of God. You are not who you think you are. You are more than who you think you are. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when you have power, you have boldness. You move around with every authority. You see, some people today, they don't even want to travel in the air. Why? Eh? Why? <laughs> the, fear, the fear of the height huh plane crash right and you call yourself man of God <laughs> and you call yourself man of God right so what kind of man of God are you that you want to board plane and you don't sleep for 14 hours. You, sleep, you speak in tongues. <laughs> and when you say, ah, he eats now, you say, ah. Whenever I stop, and when I stop speaking in tongues, the, the, the thing is now, kong, 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 kong. I say, ah, you see me already asleep. Oh. I don't know what is going on again. All I know is that I boarded this plane and I will land over there. That is the power of God. Check yourself. You start a business 
and people are telling you you are going to fail and you say you have power of God in you have you seen God failed before so what make you think you're going to fail you can never fail you can never other people may fail but my God has never failed then I cannot fail until you have boldness like that, you are not there yet. You are not there yet. You are not there yet. If you are still saying, maybe, or maybe, children of God, you are not there yet. God wants us to know. He wants every one of us to know that the same authority in him, he has given unto us. He said, you will decree a thing on earth and it shall be what? Established in heaven. You give your life to Christ. You receive the power of Holy Spirit and you are still living like mere men. Something wrong with you. Something wrong with you. But apostles, I boast in the Lord. Boast in the power of God in you. Let them know you carry the power. If they are serving the same God like you do, let them do the same thing. Elijah was so, Elijah was so bold. He said, let us show who is the God indeed. Call your own God. I will call all my God. And what happened? They try all they could. From morning to night, their gods didn't even answer. You see the way he make jest of them. He said, you better shout well because your God, maybe he's sleeping. You better shout well. Your God always sleep. Or maybe he has traveled again. Because Elijah know we are serving God that never sleep nor slumber. His omnipresence. He don't have to go anywhere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Boldness. Children of God, it's time for us to carry ourselves with boldness. Let's speak boldly. Let them know that we are not ordinary. Praise the name of the Lord. We all know what happened to Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was born as a baby, he was just a child. But when the time for manifestation came, what did he do? He went and get himself baptized. After he received the baptism of the water, what happened? The Holy Spirit came upon him. That was when he received the power. That was when the journey started. Praise the name of the Lord. He was able to go straight into the, into the wilderness where Satan now come unto him to do what? To tempt him. But because he already received power, no matter how Satan come on your way, you will defeat Satan, children of God. It was because of the Holy Spirit that was upon him that was make him to be able to say man cannot live by bread alone. You shall worship only God alone. And he said, get thee behind me, Satan. He said it with what? Boldness. With full authority. The same authority is in you. Don't keep quiet. Do not silence. Rebuke Satan and he will flee away from you. Children of God, it's time to stand with boldness, with authority. Praise the name of the Lord. You know everything that happened with Daniel. The power of God was upon Daniel. That even when they conspired against him, that because he was praying, they're going to kill him. They're going to put him into the lion's den. What happened to, to, to Daniel? The Bible says immediately he got back home. 
he went there and do what? And opened all the window. And he prayed unto his God three times the same way he used to do. I don't care what they decree. I don't care of their conspiracy. I know that I'm serving the living God. They can't do me any evil. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what you and I need to do. He didn't say because of the king's decree, he will not pray again. Many today will say because they put this law and that law, I cannot do this and that. Because there is no power in you. If you truly have power in you, you know that there is no power above our, 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 our almighty God. The one that puts one on the throne today and remove it tomorrow. Who has you? In the presence of the living God. Who had thou mountain before Serubabe? Praise the name of the Lord. Anyone that dare you, they will go for your sake. Let them conspire. They will die in the pit that they have dug for you. It's because you think, hey, I'm just like this. You are more than that, children of God. Say, I am more than that. I am more than that. No one can toy with me. Praise the name of the Lord. We all know what happened to the disciples when Jesus Christ was with them. They were dying and wine, but when Christ died and he resurrected, they were hiding. They were hiding. But what happened when the power of the Holy Spirit came upon them? The word of the Lord says, Peter got up and he was able to speak with what? With boldness. And nobody can stop him. Children of God, you need the Holy Spirit. There is no two ways about it. If you give your life to Christ today, all you get is salvation. And when you die, you go to where? You go to eternal life. After giving your life to Christ, you need the Holy Spirit. When you baptize with the, with the Spirit of God, that is when you have power to demonstrate, to influence, to become solution. Praise the name of the Lord. That's why you see many people will get to heaven. But this on earth, you will see them, they just be as nobody. Because all they do is that they receive Christ, but they fail to receive the power. Don't be like them. That's why you see many people, they give their life to Christ, true. But they refuse the power of the Holy Spirit. Then they become slaves to their equal. They live poor. They live wretched. Enemy toys there with their lives. Why? Because they lack the power. Praise the name of the Lord. When Peter got the Holy Spirit, everyone knew that he was intoxicated with the Holy Spirit. There is no way you will see an alcoholic person that you now say, does he drink alcohol? Will you be asking? You won't. On somebody just smoke cigarettes. Do you need to be asking, do you smoke cigarettes? Huh? You don't. Because you can sense it. Right? And when they get drunk, you will see them intoxicated. Children of God, it's time to be intoxicated with the Holy Spirit. That everyone around you will know you carry something. They don't need to ask you. They will see the demonstration. They see the manifestation. They see the way you are changing the situation around you. Children of God, I am intoxicated this morning. I don't know about you, but there is something in me that keeps burning. Children of God, until you being challenged that there is power in you, you are not there yet. 
until they tell you that you don't make sense, you are not there yet. Children of God, you can't be making senses. You cannot. You can't be making senses. It's time to manifest the power of God in you. It's time to let them know I am intoxicated. It's time to let them know I am this. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, when Peter was intoxicated, he was able to tell the man that seated at the beautiful gate and say, look on us. Silver and gold we do not have, but the what we have, I will give unto you. Rise and walk. That is the one that intoxicated with the Spirit of God. Children of God, it's time for you to wake up. Everywhere Paul goes, and never fear any man. Who is man? Who is man? When the power of the whole heaven is living inside of me. Many people cannot even go to their native uh, uh, town. Why? They fear they will do what? They will kill them. Who will kill you? Who? They've never born the person. It has never been created that we kill you. You? Ah. Hey. When you appear, the host of heaven appeared. When I appear, the God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit appear. You better kill the God, the Son, kill the God, the Father, and kill the God, the Holy Spirit, before you can reach me. I am untouchable. Praise the name of the Lord. Because you don't know what you carry. Children of God. Don't let them toy with you anymore. Recently there was a situation in our business. And they were saying all such and such. I said go and sit down. They look at me. Are you crazy? I said go and sit down. Continue what you are doing. What happened? They themselves come back. Praise the name of the Lord. Not one time, not two times, I tell them, you don't know who you are dealing with. I carry fire. Don't let them toy with your life. You are more than who you think you are. Chai. You are unstoppable, children of God. Enter your abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Enjoy the joy of your salvation. Children of God, saving. The salvation has a lot of packages. A lot of packages and in the salvation. You are not born again to die again. You are not born again to be poor again. Children of God, let them know you carry something. I board it everywhere. I carry something. Don't play with me. I carry the spirit of God. I don't play. When I'm joking, I joke. And people around me, when I joke, you better take it because it's a prophecy. That's why I'm always careful not to say negative things. I'm careful not to even think negative things. Thinking. If it comes to my mind, give it five minutes, it will come to manifestation. Praise the name of the Lord. Where are you today, children of God? Where are you? Do you have power? Check yourself. Do I actually have power? You give your life to Christ. True. Do you have Holy Spirit? If you don't have it, what do you want to do? If Christ could tell his disciples, do not do anything until you receive the power. You can only receive power through the Holy Spirit. 
Everything I've been saying, all these people that we mentioned, they have the Spirit of God upon them. Not the air that you're breathing. I'm talking of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the living God. And it's available to as many that are willing to receive. Praise the name of the Lord. Why are you still fugitive? Why are you keeping quiet on those issues? Why do you want to give up? Why do you want to quit when there is power of God in you? I can never quit. No way. I won't give up. My situation will give up. I don't know about you. Tell your situation. You are the one that will give up. I will never give up. My God has never failed. I can never fail. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus said unto his people. Matthew 7, verse 7 to 8. He says, ask and it will be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone. Underline that word. For everyone. Does it say for particular people? Is it only the pastors? Only the deacons? Only the apostles? For everyone that has received. When you ask God for the spirit of, of for his spirit, he will give it unto you. All you need to do is to do what? To ask. He says, and he that seek, find it. And to him that knock, it shall be open. Children of God, what are you still waiting for? Let us stand up this morning. If you don't have the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit in you, I need you to come out this morning. Because you cannot continue the same way you are. You need the Holy Spirit. There is no way you can manifest power of God without the Holy Spirit. There is no two ways about it. They don't give back to you with the Holy Spirit. There is no inborn of Holy Spirit. You need to ask for it. You need to seek for it. Before you can get it. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, please come out this morning. This is our man of divine abundance. And what? And power demonstration. If you don't have it, there is no abundance anywhere. Praise the name of the Lord. You have Holy Spirit is not being manifested in your life. It's not manifesting anywhere. Come out this morning. Come out this morning. You are living below where you are supposed to live. You are not living to the expectation. You are still living as if, oh, this will happen. Come out this morning. Let the anointing be poured on you so that everyone will know that you carry the power of God. I need you to come out. I give you one more minute. If you don't come out, that is it. saying that when they bring the dead body this morning, you lay your hands upon it, and the dead body will come back to life. You are saying this morning, when they bring the sick unto you, you will lay your hands on that sick, and they will get their healing. If you are not there, come out this morning. Let 
Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. God by himself, he called the host of heaven. He said, come, let us make man in our image after our likeness. Listen to this. And the whole heaven and girl, they win the power of equality. And let them have dominion. They win dominion. They win that power unto all. Which means if you are in Christ, so Christianity without supernatural is worse than witchcraft. You don't get that one. Christianity without supernatural is worse than witchcraft. You are a Christian? Oh, oh. And witches is still determining your pace. Something wrong somewhere. Don't get it. You are a Christian. I'm not talking of apostle. I'm not talking of title this time around. Although my wife warned me sometimes. He said, leave those other pastors face your business. Because check the apostle. After they received the Holy Spirit, Satan was not, doesn't destroy their business. It's not, it's no, they don't have time for Satan. They don't have time that some pastor, they did not even create time for Satan again. They created time for witches and witchard and mommy water. That is what they created time for. And what you give attention, it gets it get to root. What you give attention, it gets to root. Hallelujah. If you give their attention, they do, they do more. The only thing Satan will do forever is to distract you. It will distract you because you know that if you are focused, you won't get to where. And uh, why must you run ahead and look behind? You won't get there. You won't get there. Hallelujah. You don't get it. You are going to the street there now. Somebody talk behind you. You went back and give the report. And you are going again. I don't want to talk against you. You go back and give. I said you are going, you go you stay on the same spot because Satan is behind you. Oh, you don't get that one. We, those witches, they are behind you. Those witches, they are behind you. Do, do I tell you something today? Your problem is behind you. <laughs> but maybe you don't get it. No, oh, 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 listen, 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 listen. Do you want to hear this one? Even your blessing is behind you. <laughs> You don't get it. He said, and they that believe this blessing shall come and do what? I overtake them. But this war, that's a number 28 verse 1. Don't that focus on Christ. 
don't focus on your problem. You focus too much on your problem. You get too much distracted. You focus too much on Satan. That's why you are distracted. Witches can't kill you. Can I tell you something? Member of faith, I order this grace. You cannot die by any witches. You don't get that one. No witch can kill you. I don't deal with Satan. I'm dealing with God. Oh my goodness. I am dealing with God. The maker of heaven and heart. He said, all power belong to who? Oh, you don't get that one. He said, all power belongs to who? And where he was going, he said, I cannot go to heaven with this power. This is the key. The key of David that opened there and no man can sort. The key of David that sought and no man can open. By that key this morning, you can't just be living ordinary life. The time for ordinary living is over. If you are not Baptist, if you are not a Baptist of the Holy Spirit, every time we say pray in the Spirit, say, God, I thank you. Is that God, I thank you? Is that speaking in the Holy Spirit? Speak, begin to pray in the Spirit. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. No, that is wrong. You are being, you are being a believer for three, four years. You can't speak in the realm of Spirit and go understanding you. That is not good for you. And he, who is it that ne-? Jesus Christ taught that man? He said, What did you see? He said, I saw listen to that man. He said, he said, I saw men like three. They released that man to the street. He will kill. Because he saw men, but the three he saw. He said, This one needs a second touch. Some of you will need a second touch. What we are saying this morning is this. if you are still on that same spot, that everything you have is by struggle, you need a second touch. You don't get on. Some of you, everything you have is by struggle. You struggle. You want to rent two bedroom apartment, you struggle. You want to rent one bedroom apartment, you struggle. You want to do business, you struggle. And you, begin to, and you, have, you have reason. Yeah, the reason why I struggle. Uh, uh, yeah, I forgot the name there. He said, they, they will struggle. Uh, all the, they, uh, how are you doing? We are struggle. What are you doing? We are also. We hang on there. You can't, I, I won't hang on there. I won't hang on there. When I came to America, I thank God. I asked somebody here. I said, I have come here to make an impact. I have not come here to be added unto them. A woman said, uh, this kind of your prayer that you pray, you can't walk here. I said, when I got here, the water burned at one other degree. So there's no difference between here and there. And when I come here, the water freeze. At zero degree. So the so idea for faith work the same anywhere. That the same faith will work. Is it not working now? Is that not a proof that it's working now? I'm talking of Jesus Christ. As many that need second thought, you need to come out here. If you have not been speaking in the spirit, that you see the same way, the usual way, you need to come out. If you know that you need second thought eh, at the count of five, if you don't come out and you come out later, I won't allow you. One, two, three, four, five. I, I, I don't want anybody that this one. And that is for you. Go and get me out of here. My whole skin the hair. Make a sin that here the bad that cock and console to you. Le roko skin that. From this morning. Supernatural begin to answer for you. Yes. Let me announce to you this only thing that go and that this morning. Makusin da idanda koko ni down. As God live, kenye kenye ke busin da mbala. Makasanta ko, mamprogo skende day. From this morning, thing will not make you sore. Supernatural, we answer for you. The supernatural we answer for you. Supernatural we answer for you. Mare Boschenda Gida Gida Globoskendebo. Mankala Baba Baba. Mandege. Mandaga. Oh, Boschenda. Ma 
Oh, 